Welcome to the CASC screencast recordings for candidates. We're going to begin this by starting at the FCOE website. You'll see this is our actual website. It's fcoe.org forward slash CASC. You'll have information that will be on here. There will be announcements and other things as you go through your time with us. The main area that you're going to want to look at is your ePortfolio login. This is an area where you'll be able to track data, complete certain assessments, and use those kinds of things. So you'll click here and it will allow you to log in. I'm going to log out so you can see what it looks like when I log in. So this allows me to log in and this will be your actual uh, home page. You can get here by clicking on home and you'll see quite a bit of information. I'm going to take you through just a couple things and then I'll it will go into others as well into other screencasts. So the thing I want to show you first is your profile. So this would be you and when you look at your profile here's all the information that we have about you most of this information was input by our secretarial staff. This is other information that you may input as you go through your time in the program. So you're going to have an enrollment form and CASC agreements and the verification of employment that you submitted to us and we scan those and put them in. Position profile is something that you completed the first night that you actually were with us. So this is documentation about where you are currently and some of the challenges and areas you want to focus on as an administrator and then we have some application activities as you participate in professional development this would be a place for you to upload those activities to demonstrate that you actually have mastered some of the content that we're covering in the professional development so if you need to update any of this you click on edit which is going to be right above your picture and when you click on that there's a lot of things you can do you can update your email your password your picture as you go along if you need to change that you can browse just like you would with an email update all of the information, your personal information about your name and your address and things along those lines. It's good to have a mobile number so that way we can contact you and let you know if there's either, ever a change or in something we can contact you. Want to make sure we have your work location so you can type all that in. This is pretty cool. Allows you to be able to put in your district. It will go in and it should start to choose where you're working and maybe it wants Clovis Unified rather than Clovis Unified School District and when you do that it will start to choose those and you can type them in as you need to. Make sure you've chosen your school level. Again we'll put this in if we have it but if you have a change it's nice for us to know so we can keep up with you. All of your information about your site, mobile numbers and the rest so we can contact them. Down below here you will have a position profile that will have been updated for you so that's actually going to be put in by us but below you've got a couple things you're going to want to put in so if you go out and do some job shadowing whether it be for the one single requirement for the program or your coaches assigned you to it you can put some of your reflections in here you can also put any PD application activities you just browse for them and you upload them and then it actually allows you to name them so you'll be able to upload and keep your profile up to date once you've done that Come back over to view and you'll be able to see that any changes you made will be here.